everybody. I haven't made a video in a while, but I've got a new tone arm, so uh, let's dive straight in with some footage of it playing. Uh, here it is. It's uh, all aluminum construction again, but a bit more advanced than the last time. Uh, it is running off uh, small angular contact ball bearings in there. It's probably a little bit fuzzy, but it's uh, got full anti-skate, as you can see by the handy wing nut there, suspended from a string. Uh, brass counterweight, uh, long arm, and then my fancy Ortofon OM10 cartridge there, which is probably the, the single most important part of this uh, entire machine. And it's uh, very good. It's just sitting on some acrylic base there, just for temporary purposes. Uh, that main C, or the main outer gimbal, was, was quite a machining. Uh, quite a machining nightmare, I'll say, on the equipment I have at least. It's very big for the small little lathe. Uh, the anti-skate system is very simple. It's just pivoting around the vertical axis and drapes over. That's a bicycle spoke, stainless steel bicycle spoke that's just uh, held in with a little lock nut there, or a set screw, sorry, and just hangs the weight there. And uh, overall, it sounds quite, quite good. Uh, I just I just put it on. This is the first song it's ever played. It's uh, pretty good. I'm just running it to, for true awesomeness, though. It's sitting on a, a dual CS503 arm. Now that's a proper arm. <laughs> and we've got this thing just uh, interloping on the table just for now. But it's going pretty well. Rocking some uh, black keys. I'll get it. I'll get that Elvin, definitely. But yeah, it's a nice arm. Uh, I'm very happy with it so far. We'll see how it goes with uh, the next few tracks.